afternoon, everyone. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the morning breakout sessions, uh, as well as lunch and all the activities in the Activation Hub. Welcome back to the plenary session for this afternoon to all of you here in Detroit and all of you watching on the live stream uh, around the world. Uh, as you know, SB17 Detroit is being live streamed with hundreds of people watching from several dozen countries. Uh, so whether you're here in person uh, or watching online, you can also participate in this conversation on Twitter using the hashtag, hashtag SB17Detroit. So welcome, I'm Gil Friend. Um, some of you know me as the founder and chair of Natural Logic, a small consultancy uh, advising major brands on the business opportunities that open up from, deep, from applying a deep sustainability lens to unlock the massive value that literally can't be seen in normal management systems and financial management systems. Um, and what you may not know is that I'm currently serving uh, on secondment as chief sustainability officer for the city of Palo Alto, a small but mighty city in the San Francisco Bay Area trying to push the boundaries of urban sustainability. Uh, before we begin this afternoon's program, I wanna uh, give another shout out to our sponsors. Uh, you've seen them on slides uh, running up above me. Uh, and in addition to those there, I wanna particularly thank Steelcase for generally, pr generously providing the stage furniture for us here today. Um, also, one other new piece of information just handed to me, Coan and Sustainable Brands uh, encourage you to contribute to a mural that's forming right here at the conference. We invite you to help redefine the good life uh, through images, not just through words. Feel free to pick up a paintbrush uh, or just share an idea of what the good life means to you. The mural is located outside the riverside entrance of Cobo Center, just to the left as you exit the building. Uh, this mural is part of Carlson Residor's Adding Color to Our Lives initiative, and it will be a lasting legacy after this conference leaves that will live on in Detroit's eastern market. So please come join the fun and uh, get messy. So Detroit, Let's see if we got slide control here. Can you put up my slides, please? So while we're waiting for that, Detroit, you know, Motor City, Motown, big city, Detroit gr drove the good life in the automobile culture of the 20th century. Uh, it was the engine of America. But that dream sputtered and stalled, whoops, uh, as innovation leadership shifted and as oil ended and as a new dream struggles to be born which sounds like a possible future for the United States today as well. So it's fitting <clears throat> that we all, as brands, as advisors, as activists, investors, and more, should be meeting here <clears throat> to reclaim and reframe and rename the good life in this amazing city seeking to reinvent and reinvest and regenerate itself. So what is the good life? I think Bill McDonough gave us a great uh, insight yesterday afternoon, if you were here, saying the good life is about good materials because everything starts from the physical world that we live in, good energy, good economy, good water, and good lives. And the question that I always ask, and I asked when I first heard sustainable brands pick this theme, was the good life for whom? Um, how do we make this fully inclusive? And Bill, again, gave us the clue about how to think about that. It's for all beings, for all time. And that's a challenge to each of us as brands, as community members, as employees, as family members, of how do we extend the circles of inclusion to have the good, good life be for all of us, not just for some of us. So as we think about the challenges of innovation and value, uh, and navigation of an uncertain future that we all face. Innovation, well, not just what can we do, but what do we need to do? What do we want to do? What might be possible? This is one of the most powerful innovation questions for us to ask. Um, value, how do we think about behavior change at scale across value chains? 
and navigation, you know, people have talked about navigating the Anthropocene. The Anthropocene, this era of massive human influence on the planet, uh, in a world that is literally unpredictable. As much as we try to project where things are going, we are clearly in a world of surprises, political situations that we have never anticipated, pace of technological change, just one case in point, aut autonomous vehicles that will possibly disrupt four to five million jobs in the United States in the next five to 10 years, not anticipated at all five years ago. The cell phone in your pocket that has the power, more power than the computer that took the ast Apollo astronauts to the moon and back, barely 10 years old and not anticipated before that. And so the challenge of navigating in the face of uncertainty is a central challenge for the entire sustainability enterprise. So as we prepare for three fascinating presentations this afternoon, I'd like to leave you with three questions to consider, um, really challenges, um, to consider through this session and over the next couple of days. First is, what is a brand? And if a brand is, as I believe, a conversation and a promise, which is a particular kind of conversation, then what is the biggest brand promise that your company can make uh, and honor? And third, what conversations do you need to have? Uh, with whom in order to bring that promise forward and to fulfill it? Because it's in conversations that we create our worlds and create our realities and create our possibilities. It's where we coordinate with each other and how we speak and the requests that we make of each other and the commitments that we make to each other are where the power of this work really lives. So what conversations will you have to bring that brand promise forward and to fulfill it? 